I can see a very fat pigeon in front of me. I'm praying that he doesn't poo on me. He's, he's leaving my household. Please get out. Go, please. Hello, lovely people. I hope you're well. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, we are doing a bit of a sit down, chill out, relaxed vlog. Uh, just because, you know, we're talking about today. Today we're in my garden because it's a beautiful day and I feel like it's springtime, it's cold, my hands are cold, but you've got to take in being able to be outside and not being in the pouring rain. And you can hear the birds singing. I'm not sure if that's going to be really annoying or really lovely, but I'm finding it really lovely. <gasps> Shabba! Get out. I hate pigeons. This is the thing while you live in the city, you get wildlife to another level. Today I thought, <laughs> I thought there was a ladybird in my room. Wait, I took a video of it actually, so insert the footage here. You ready guys? This is Daisy Robinson saving the planet. I actually should probably put the camera down because I'll probably accidentally kill it. Is it dead? No, I think it's dead. Ah, I've got a dead ladybug. Is it even a ladybug? <laughs> it's not a ladybug. Ew, what the heck is that? I don't know what else it could be. I think it's just like a leaf. Leaf? Leaf? Well, that was not as interesting as I thought it'd be. Yeah. God's creation, guys. Today's video is all about <laughs> game changers and the person who inspires me and who, when they were young, um, changed the world in a in a little way or a big way. So I was like, who do I talk about? And then I realized that my absolute hero was a young person when she decided to start working for God's glory. And this woman is, you've probably heard me chat about her before because she really does inspire me. Mrs. Jackie Pullinger. She was about 18, 19, 20, which in my eyes to go move somewhere is quite young with no one, no contacts and nothing. She was in this prayer meeting basically. And all her friends were like, God, I thank you that we don't need to go to hell because we believe in you. And she was like, excuse me, why are you chatting about this? Why are you just keeping this privilege of knowing Jesus and knowing the eternal life and stuff in your little bubble? Why are you not speaking about this and telling other people and letting other people know this incredible gift? So she felt really compelled in that like Bible study, which is so weird because I feel like sometimes we feel as if to be called somewhere, we have to have this huge God moment. Like, we have to be told by God exactly on our knees at church that we're gonna go somewhere or we're gonna do something or that he's gonna use us in a certain way. And she um, had some advice from a pastor that was like, go on a boat and get the longest around the world ticket. You basically can like, however far it can go and pray at each stop and see if God wants you to get off. And at Hong Kong, Jackie felt like it was time for her to get off. And I think she had words and pictures before about Hong Kong as well. It's a place called The Walled City which was like a huge, we'll try and insert a picture. You need to see it to understand the hugeness and the, the craziness of the situation. Basically this massive slum, but built on top of each other. So it's like a high rise slum. It was called like the city of darkness because as soon as you entered, you actually wouldn't be able to see light and like daylight because it was so enclosed. It was massive. So Jackie went to the walled city and she just started by doing like a youth club and she learned the language like while she was doing it. She was a music teacher at the time, but she was doing it for free. It was crazy. Like she just gave God her finances, her living, everything. It slowly but surely it became a church and gang leaders and people who were renowned for taking drugs and having drug dens and uh, brothels and all this horrible stuff would come to her and learn about Jesus. The walled city was demolished and everyone was rehoused and now there stands a park which commemorates walled city and what it used to be. But it's called like the Peace Garden. I think it's called the Peace Garden. Jackie was like, okay, these boys, as soon as they get off drugs, so what they did was they prayed for them and they'd pray in tongues and then they'd come off drugs completely medicine free and pain free because they believed in the Holy Spirit. They allowed the Holy Spirit to heal them and they didn't try and get anything else to heal them. And Jackie had this huge thing that was like, if you want to come and live with me and if you want to come and learn about God, then you have to just be off drugs and we'll get you off them, but you have to trust in God. And like, you're not going to receive if you don't ask yourself for Jesus' help. These boys and these men started coming off drugs and then they would 
quickly like, what do we do now? Because as soon as they went back, they'd go back to gang culture. And so Jackie started allowing people to stay with her and live with her. And they'd have this time of healing. Reverse like 20 years later, not 20 years, a lot of years later, 2020. They have a house that is beautiful in like the north of, is it in the north of Hong Kong? Never eat soggy waffles. North, yeah, north of Hong Kong. They have a house and that house is young boys and also girls as well. Um, who have, you know, been on drugs or had a hard time at school or been kicked out by their parents. And the government send people over to have rehab with them. And it's not just any rehab though, it's Jesus rehab. In 2019, I had the privilege of going and seeing what was going on there and learning from them and being taught how to be so generous and how to live for the glory of God. And I think that's why I'm so passionate about it now because I've had the privilege of seeing that firsthand and the difference it is from Say if Jackie never went out, I don't. I really don't think that there'd be that much transformation because God could have done it anyway. But I think you ne you have to say yes to God's will. You have to say yes to God's word and yes to what He wants in your life. And if she hadn't said yes, if she had said no, how many people would still be hurting today? Jackie didn't just go for a few weeks. She didn't just go for a year. She spent her whole life, and she has served these people. Oh, I can smell. I can smell burglars. There's a burger van near my house because like, there's loads of building work going on. Oh, lovely. And yeah, I think that's what like has made me so open to kind of giving up what I want in life and saying yes to what God wants in my life. And actually, I found that the more that I say yes to God, the more doors open, the more opportunities I'm given, the more I'm learning about myself um, because God knows more about me than I do. What inspires me as well is that she didn't wait until she was 30 or she had kids or she had a husband or she was ready or she had a stable job or she had money saved up to go. She just went and she followed what God was saying in her life and what God wanted her to do. And I think so much of the time we kind of make excuses for God's will. We say, yeah, God, I'd love to do that and I feel like you're calling me to do that. But I have this commitment or but I feel really comfortable with living with my friends but sometimes we just have to say yes and Jackie was a young game changer and she still is she may be not be as young but she's a game changer people who work around Jackie and work for her and work with her I wouldn't say they work for her they work with her and they all work under this mission of God's glory and God's love for other people who might not be included like how often do we include the outsider or the person who is struggling in our church meetings or in our in our friendship groups? Do we invite other people? And it's just small things like that that we can start with and then we can get bigger and better when we're living for the glory of God. I feel like that is the end of this story time and the end of this vlog. Go read Chasing the Dragon by Jackie Pullinger or if you prefer picture books, go read, is it A Crack in the Wall I think it's called? Also by Jackie Pullinger, and it's like a magazine type thing all about stories from her um, time in Hong Kong and still in her time in Hong Kong. Like, this is just an incredible testimony of her work and of God's work and um, just like people coming to faith and drug leaders, drug, I keep on saying drug leaders, gang leaders learning of Jesus' love for them and like I think something that we can all take from it is that God loves you no matter what you've done and he wants us to love people no matter what they've done even if they've hurt us like how do we love others like Jesus loves them. I hope you have a lovely day, I hope this has inspired you, I hope you go read or watch or listen about Jackie's story and you are inspired to also do be a game changer and you don't have to start at a certain age I hope this is what this tells you like you don't have to even like Jackie she was 18 or 19 or 20, I don't know one of those ages when she left but you know you can start younger and you can start being a game changer go find people who inspire you and go become someone who inspires others oh what a what an ending what an ending go become someone who inspires others I think that is such an incredible and important thing to be. But don't inspire others because of your own ability. Inspire others because of God's ability to work through you, such as Miss Jackie Pullinger. So go friends, go live out God's glory. Wait, I was gonna stop there, but go like and subscribe to Tiff Fun's YouTube channel, guys. And actually, comment down below who you're inspired by and what young game changers or maybe old game changers you are inspired by because I'd love to know and I'd love to find out more about them because I'm always here to be inspired. But yeah, have a lovely day. Go like and subscribe. Go follow us on Instagram. Go do all that. The sun is slowly like 
moving me out of shot. But have a good one, guys. Love you lots.